Yes, our next speaker is also the last one before we come to lunch. It's Patricia Congalves, and she'll be talking about um, horse mackerel, I think, different types of horse mackerels. So Patricia, the title of your talk is How different are the eggs of Trachurus trachurus and Trachurus picturatus? Implications for EPMs and in the North Atlantic waters. So the floor is yours, and I see you don't need help with the computer, okay. so just go ahead. Good afternoon to everybody. The aim of this study is try to, uh, to answer this question. How different are the eggs of Trachurus trachurus and Trachurus picturatus? In Iberian Atlantic waters, as is Division 9A, we have three species of the genus Trachurus. Horse mackerel, Trachurus trachurus, blue jack mackerel, Trachurus picturatus, and the last one, Mediterranean horse mackerel, Trachurus mediterraneus. Both of them all have almost the same length at the first maturation and the same age. The Mediterranean horse mackerel is the less abundant of our region. That's why these data are not from the Iberian waters. This is just to take a look. This are, is the three species. The first on the, st on the top is the horse mackerel. The, in the middle is the Mediterranean species with the yellow tail and the last one is the blue jack mackerel. You can see the dark, uh, more darkness in the dorsal part of the body. But they are really difficult to distinguish. According to their distribution, we can say that the Trachurus trachurus and Trachurus picturatus have the same distribution area and are more or less abundant. But of course, Trachurus trachurus is the more abundant species for our region. The less abundant, as I said before, is Trachurus mediterraneus. You can see here just on three parts of the Assis Division 9A. Okay, the, both, the most abundant ones have also the same main spawning season, what could be a problem for us. According to egg characteristics, if it's difficult sometimes to identify the adults of the three species, imagine on eggs. Okay, according to literature, Trachurus trachurus eggs are described as being pelagic, spherical, and they have the range diameter between 0.8 until 1.04. They have a single oil globule with the range between 0.19 until 0.29 and segmented yolk. According to Trachurus picturatus eggs, there are no references about their characteristics on the literature. You know all that egg identification in plant or samples is needed for purposes of stock assessment, mainly the, the application of the daily egg production method. This is the general formula of the daily egg production method, is this P with uh, the circle, red circle, is the uh, egg production. If we are classifying of our eggs of Trachurus picturatus as being Trachurus trachurus, we are overestimate our egg production and, uh, of course, uh, overestimate also our spawning stock biomass for our mackerel. This is our last DPM application for our mackerel. On the left side, you have our grid of uh, plankton sampling. For planting sampling, we, we use two nets, calvo and bongo, and we also use kufis. But kufis is just to give, you, give us an indication during uh, the um, onboard to make some decisions, because when we are sampling offshore in the stratus, if we get two negative uh, kufis with no eggs of uh, no ones, no, no species, we can change strato. This is our information about our adult sampling, our trials, and you can see here that on five stations we catch also Trachurus trachurus and Trachurus picturatus. And, and in one of them, that we catch 
the both species spawning. And we see here a good opportunity to make some fertilization experiments to try to find if there are differences between the eggs. This is the basic information about uh, the fish that have been captured in that station. You can see on the B is the data referred to Tracurus picturatus. We just catch two spawning females and use that to make the fertilization experiments. This is general information about our experiments. We use the temperature of uh, 16.5 because it's more or less the temperature of the water in that trawl position. And we, in, inter in variable intervals, we take some eggs off the tanks, we fix it with formaldehyde, and the analysis and description of morphology has been only made on the laboratory. We have to say that when we come to laboratory, we have a surprise with our Tracurus Tracurus eggs because they, they don't develop and almost of the data that you, the eggs we have been collected are um, in stage one because they died. That's why for this comparison, you use the collection data of the eggs of a previously um, artificial fertilization for 2004 and already been published to compare the development of the both species. Okay, this is our first stage of egg development for the both two species. We can see here the, the pointer. Here is the when the division starts. And we can see that uh, the Tracurus picturatus is also a segmented yolk. Here the oil globe seems a little bit bigger than on Tracurus Tracurus, but I have to say that it's broken. This is the blastula phase. Phase, once again, we don't see so much differences between these both species. Here we have just uh, now the embryo phase and you can see the beginning of embryo's development with the tail lies against the polar region of the yolk and continues the line of the yolk mass and until now no differences. Now on this stage the pigmentation is already visible. We have on both species pigmented the pigment spots from, form two rows along the dorsal body of the embryo and is common on two, on two species. In this stage of development, the tail is uh, bigger than one quarter of the yolk sac length and tail curvature is evident. On these images, we can see the pigmentation on the head of the two species. And again, there are no differences. And this is the last stage. And uh, they are almost watching. And no differences. OK. According to morphology, we cannot see any differences. And about sizes. We determine the sizes of our fertilized eggs. And this is, for Tracurus Tracurus, this is the description of the literature. And we can say about our Tracurus picturatus, based on our experiment, that the cordon diameter ranges between 0 0.98 until 1.1, and oil globe 0 0.19 until 0 0.31. And they have also segmented yolk, and, but the size overlaps between the two species. Here we have the number, I don't know, it's here. The, these pots represent the number of eggs in each stage at each sampling time. At the lab, we classify each egg in, into an 11 stage scale key, according to the descriptions of Cunha et al. of 2008. 
Here you can see the, how to convert the 11 uh, stage scale key into the four stage key, uh, key used by the WGMAX. We can see that for this PC, we have uh, continuous development. And inclusion, of course, 75 hours after fertilization. Okay, this is our Tracur from 2010. That, well, I say to you, you miss some stages because we catch eggs that aren't developing. And inclusion, but we get some larvae also. Uh, and the occlusion occurs 65 hours after the fertilization. Just to have a look for the Tracurus Tracurus data of 2004, it's the same development, a continuous development along the time, and the occlusion is around 60 hours. Okay, just to see the, if there are differences on the durations of the stages between the two species. We apply the multinomial model to see the, the time duration of each stage of development and try to compare between the two species. Somehow, you don't know, but uh, Tracurus Tracurus Eclosion occurs earlier than on Tracurus picturatus. And according to this data, it seems that until the 30 hour of sampling, all species are developing in the same way. But after that, the stage six and seven for the Tracurus Tracurus, it's more quickly on develop. And that's why the occlusion is so close to the 60 hours after fertilization. And at this moment, that's all we have. And we can conclude for now that egg identification between those two Tracurus species depends mostly on the size of the chorion and all globe diameter. However, we see before that size is not enough due to the overlapping. And also, according to the biography, egg size may vary within a species, between populations of the same species, and among and within species. Being those morphologic characteristics insufficient for species identification, we think that genetic is the future, should be applied, because until now, this is a egg from our DPM survey, you can, uh, we can say or assure that this is Tracurus Tracurus egg or Tracurus Tracurus picturatus. And for validate our data, we must apply Genetica. Okay, and that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. <clears throat>